Hey Tim, what'd you bring me today? Here we have the Ling Cod, Looks the familiar. True Cod or the Pacific Cod, and the Black Cod. So the most important thing to remember is that only one of these three fish is actually a cod. It's the Pacific or the True Cod here. Tim, is this long line or? I would say 95% of the ling cod we bring in is all long line cod. All of our true cod is always going to be out of Alaska. It's okay. all out of either the Gulf of Alaska or the Bering Sea and the method of harvest is either long line cod and some pot cod, which is an awesome method. Oh, Fish cod. come up totally it. alive, um, frozen at sea, uh, amazing fish. So all of the Alaskan fish that we bring to our restaurants is all certified sustainable, which is awesome. The differences in flavor profile, your true cod, your Pacific cod is the fish and chip cod. Um, it's, a, it's a low oil content, very white, very mild, very mild yeah, yeah. flaky texture, yeah. awesome in any of those types of uh, broil. The ling cod would be considered the top of the line fish and chip, really. I think it's better than halibut when it goes into fish and chips. Uh, it's got some oil content to it. It's a little firmer texture. The ling cod we've utilized here at Anthony's forever in a lot of different preparations. Pat can talk about that. Uh, ling cod are really cool critters. Um, they'll live to be 90 years old, maybe even 100. They, they get up to 90 pounds, so pretty cool. Unique thing about the sable fish, the black cod, what gives it that omega-3 high fatty acid, that velvet, velvety texture and really unique flavor is the um, oil content, is the depth of these fish. These fish will go anywhere from 450 feet all the way down to thousands of feet deep. Uh, and uh, and they migrate way more than any of these other fish. These will migrate in groups thousands of miles. So. A lot different fish than these two as far as texture flavor. This is a, just a great eating fish. We found out that frozen at sea black, black cod is even superior to the fresh because um, being such a high oil content fish, it can have a shorter shelf life, shelf life. And freezing these things as they come onto the boat, hook and line cod, the quality is amazing. So we've actually chosen to go with a frozen at sea black cod for quality reasons. Okay, so um, our link cod, this this cod is, is very versatile. We can charbroil it, we can, it's excellent seared. And, and the true cod, since it's so mild, uh, that we'd like to, it's great with our tempura. Mm -hmm.